I'm going to teach you how to make a fortune teller. So, you have to have a perfect square. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you have to have a square for it, not a rectangle. So, you're going to take the corner of your paper, the long way, and put it until it matches up with the bottom, so it has to be even. Like, no. What you guys doing? And then, fold that, <gasps> and then you cut this off to make the square. So that's how you would make the square. And I already made this one, that's just a demonstration of how to make a square. I already made this one for my first video, but... Um, so, I made this one, and I didn't get to put it in a video yet, so, I'm going to show you how to do it, and yeah, so, you're going to fold it like an airplane, like this, it'll be like that, and then, we're going to fold the other side the same way, then you're going to flip it over, and do this again like the airplane. And then, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to do this, and do that. So it should look like this, and the other side should look like this. But it doesn't have to have writing on it, it just should look like that shape. And then, you have to fold it this way, and then fold it into a little square so it can just be easier to play with. I'll show you what to do after I finish folding this. And then, mine already has writing on it, but you'd have to write on it. And say somebody picks red. So it would be R-E-D, three times. And then you pick, somebody picks five, because there's, there's numbers in there. And you have to write numbers, and there'd be five. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five. And then say somebody picks three. You would lift it up. Whatever under it, whatever's under it, you could write you, like you could write something funny, something like that. You could just write something fake, like a joke or something. And what you're supposed to write on is, so when you fold it in like this, you have to put numbers all around it. And when there's four on this side, you have to write um, colors. But they each, they could also be a word, I just put colors, but each word or color has to have a different amount of letters in it, so you could do the amount, and do like one, two, three, four, and then you write numbers, and under these, you would write statements like something funny or something, but you'd have to put it under all of them, I was just doing a demonstration, so thanks, bye, that's all for now. I'm going to teach you how to draw a pug dog. So first you're going to do curve like that. And then you're going to do this. And you're going to go down. You're going to make them small ears like that. Then you're going to make it do this. And then, let's do this. I'm gonna make a big eye and another big eye because that makes them cute. There's his eyes. Then you're gonna do this. We're gonna shade it in. You can do the same thing to the other eye. If you want to make it look cute and shiny, you can do a circle there. 
minute. I put the circle in the wrong spot. Just wait a second. There's his eye. Same thing here. This is the other eye. Well, that's how we do the eyes. And then, a little bit under it, I do a nose like this. <laughs> So we're going to put a nose like that, and then at the top you're going to go like this, a little bit away from it, and go like that, and we're going to go to the same thing, do it down, put it up like that, and put it up like that. And then, then you're going to make the head shape, so it should look like that right now, and... And then, for the bottom right here, you're going to make a curve for the tail, a little swirl pretty much. Then you're going to do this for the knee, and with the foot. And go up, and you're going to go back down. You could color it into. You can make the head a little bit smaller because I made, accidentally made the head too big. But <laughs> that is how you draw a pug.